Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today, I'm on my floor, because I'm gonna do another mukbang or mukbang, whatever the fuck you guys say. But, yeah. So I have a pork tub covered in red sauce. It's like the Chinese things, like those red sauce covered things you get at Chinese restaurants. But instead, my family puts it as a pork chop. And so I was literally watching Colleen's newest video um, that was posted literally right before I started filming. I didn't finish it fully. She's, it's a backwards mock thing. And I'm not going to spoil too much because I don't want to. Because I haven't seen it. So I, I don't I can't spoil anything for you. But yeah, I'm just like, hey, I need to film one. I don't know why, but I was making food. I'm just like, hey, I need to film one. But, also, if you guys are enjoying my Google Translating series, don't worry. There will be more. There's a lot more coming. Like, I have a lot more CDs to translate. And stuff. And I kind of got the idea of Google Translating songs from a YouTuber named Melinda Catherine Reese. That was her YouTube channel at the time that she started, but now it's Translate. It's either Translate Fails or Translator Fails, I don't remember. She has her, she also, she also has another second channel that, um, she posts her own music on, it's called Melinda. She sings really good, so I would go check her channel out. And her goal to translate things, her translator fails, are funny. She, does, she doesn't only do songs. She does, like, her morning routine, her morning exercise. She also did a, like, those safety tip things that flight attendants say to you when you're on a, when you aboard the flight, when you board an airplane. She's done so many things, but she mainly does songs, and they're really funny. So I'll go check her out, and stuff. But there is one that I don't remember, like, what it is. I think it's her morning workout. That the translate thing is, you have to, like, you, I don't remember the exact words, but dealt with a nucleus, and you, if you didn't get the nucleus, you would fall to your knees. And she makes it funny because the Google translating thing, she, like, adds commentary to the Google translated part, and then it makes it ten times funnier. But yeah, I also have a text and chat story going. I keep forgetting about the fact that I have it going. But every other weekend I'm with my dad and this is my dad's weekend. So that's when I'll post chat stories. Because I can't go live. Especially with me doing the Google Translating series right now, and I only doing pop music, and the people at that house hate pop music. They'll let me listen to it, but they hate it. So. I can't learn stream there, so I'm, I'm trying, like, to type, like, type out my, um, text and story thing. I'm trying to upload it, but lately I kept forgetting about it. Also, another big thing I'm doing is, um, 
live streaming every day till August 23rd. And I'm gonna be with my dad the weekend of August 23rd, but I can still like live stream at midnight the Friday it comes out. And that'll be like my reaction to it. But as a film in this video, yesterday, July 23rd, Taylor Swift released her, her new song, The Archer. And it's track 5 on her album lover and I'll explain why track 5 is significant so if you remember if you're a Swifty you know that there's this thing going around that track 5 is her most emotional song off the album she didn't even realize it at first because she was accidentally doing it but the Swifty fandom was the one that created it And then soon she started realizing it, and she's been doing it ever since. <sighs> and then the archer, which I love by the way. The Archer is one of my personal favorites of, of the Lover, and I feel like it is going to be one of my personal favorites. Because if you listen to it carefully, like I listen to it carefully, the second time I heard it, I'm just like, this is a song you can relate to. Also, Escape the Night is going on, and I know I keep saying that I'm going to react to the episodes. Completely <laughs> forget about that idea. I never did it for seasons 1 through 3, and I don't plan on doing it for season 4. I tried doing it, but I couldn't. So I don't expect any except that reaction. Unless, like, towards the end of this, like, when the season's all done and the final episode comes out, episode 10. Like that first day, I don't like um <coughs> do my opinions on the deaths, and I'll give like the lieutenants that control the jewel keys a four out of ten. So yeah, be looking forward to that. And if, but and it, from what I understand, Escape the Night is supposed to end sometime in September, and I should be back to school by then. So it may have to wait a little bit. <laughs> but I'll. I'll definitely do that video. But also the person that died in episode 4 which was posted today. I really hated, I hated him in season 2. And I don't mean, if you don't like spoilers, close out this video now because I'm going to be talking a lot about Escape the Night. Like, I'm going to give my opinions on the thoughts so far. And so the first death was Justine. She died in episode 2. And it was the mommy. Like, it was the ancient Egypt.
first one, first episode was just Joey gathering um, the cast of season four. And then, so they soon realize they have to vote to die, and whoever dies in the final death challenge goes to hell forever. And then, so the episode starts, and they doing all these things, and Justine was helpful, but not really helpful. So I'm sad to see her gone. Like she was one of my favorites in season one, even though I didn't know her before in season one and she was one of my favorites and so um I started to hear go first and the next death is Tim which was last week's episode It was the deal with the demon. I don't remember what the episode name was. A deal for gold or gold or a deal with the demon or something like that. And Tim died by this bird man thing. Um, I don't. I don't remember. I, I know. I remember the air, but I don't remember. I don't remember how to say the air. And Tim died because they stormed, which was, was a little bitch, and I'm glad to see go first. Glad to see, glad to be dead. Um, And, um, Tim was died by getting hit by the Birdman so many times, and then the Storm, who won the challenge, killed the Birdman and returned. And then, I don't think this is because I'm all done. Yeah, it was, um, the newest episode was the Chinese Dragon episode, and if you haven't seen. Um, if you haven't seen today's episode, click on this video now if you don't want to be spoiled. But it was the ancient China episode. And there's this empire that needed to find a way. And it was only the girls that put up for the wife, obviously. And then Rosanna was picked. And so she was safe from the final vote in China. And then Alex and Dave Storm go. And Dave Storm sacrifices himself. And Dave Storm dies. Yeah, but that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Skip Tonight and my what my channel is coming from, what's happening on my channel. But you guys know everything now, and I'll see you guys and possibly in my live stream.
tonight. Goodbye.